Hello, I wanted to show you this morning all the things that are on the clearance tab right now. We never do sales on brushes. Tools are crucial. So if you're not getting the look that you see other people getting in their before and afters, it could be that you're using the wrong tool. I also adjust my colors based on the tools that I'm using. So I'm gonna highlight these brushes that are on the clearance tab because like I said, 40% off, that's a huge deal, especially when you're talking about high quality double-ended brushes. So if you go to Sephora, you're gonna see brushes that are this quality that cost $35, but it's a single brush, not a double brush. So with ours, you're already getting two, but now you're getting a 40% off. So you can essentially get four brushes, high quality brushes for the price of one high quality brush at Sephora or Ulta. So um, first is the buff brush. I'm gonna use that to apply my all over highlight. Kind of do that in a buffing motion, hence the name. This is great if you need extra coverage, if you've got redness, if you have melasma, age spots, um, anything that you really wanna even out your skin tone. Let's make sure you can see me nice and up close. Um, so we're gonna just kind of paint that on there in the area where a man would have a beard because the bristles are so nice and dense that you barely have to use any product with this. So you see, I'm not dragging my brush through here. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna use the buff brush. I'm gonna try to go quickly today. You can do your contour with it as well. Um, I'll show you, maybe I'll try to use one on each side. Okay, so I've done my highlight. I've avoided my under eye area. Just kind of did the main part of my face. Okay, if I wanted to go in um, and contour with the buff brush, I could do that as well. It just kind of depends on what brush you already have. So I'll show you multiple ways that we can do it, okay? All right, so you can do your contouring with that. And your three, remember, the contour will go in a three along the jawline cheekbones and don't be afraid of the contour okay but a good bit you'll have to ignore my son's coming in to interrupt all right okay go eat something all right so there's our contour it's not you've got some almonds and cashews in there you can eat all right so there we go we'll go get something ask kirk mama can't help you right now all right moving on yes he does all right next uh, I'm gonna show you the blend brush. So the blend brush is kind of the opposite. Um, so they complement each other really well, which is why I'm so excited that both of them are on clearance. So with the blend brush, much less dense, okay? It's fluffy, so this is gonna give you a super airbrush. Like if you have young girls or you don't wanna look like you have any makeup on, you could do your whole face with the blend brush. You could do your entire face with the buff brush, okay? But having them both, let you have both options. So lately I've been using the blend brush for under eye because that's the area that we tend to have the most texture, that people have the most problems. Um, so we wanna be super light. Like the biggest problem people have is they're putting too much texture there. Like we've got our dark circles, so we try to put concealer under our foundation. And that's just the more and more you're layering, especially when you're mixing mediums, which that's the whole thing about Saint is that it's the same uh, medium that you're mixing. So they blend together so nicely instead of mixing you know, different products that have different ingredients and that's where you're gonna get that texture. So you're like, what are you doing? So I'm actually using Frenchie, it's a lip and cheek color, um, to color correct a little bit, very lightly. I mean, I've barely tapped it in there. So I'm gonna use a little Frenchie because it has got a kind of an orange base and my circles tend to be a little blue. On days where they're really intense and really purple, I'll instead use, so the opposite of purple and the color will be yellow. So I'll use that. So now I'll go to the bigger end of the blend brush. So I've, important detail, put a darker color down first. If I just were to go straight into this linen, so if you're getting texture under eye, it could be that you're putting too light of a color right on your skin. If a color is too light, it will show texture. So instead, I'm gonna put a darker color down first, whether that be you putting down your all over color first and then laying lightly some of the light color on top of it, being careful not to do too much product. Um, but you can put that color down first or just mix the two, um, but don't put a color that's too light right on your skin. So now I'm going into sunlit and a little bit of, is this moonlit or linen, um, and brightening over top of that Frenchie. Just dusting it super lightly with this blend brush. And I'm not doing it just in my dark circle, but I'm coming all the way down to my nose, okay? Let's see. Going all the way over. So already where it meets that contour, the contrast is gonna make your cheekbones look higher. We're not even finished yet. 
with blush and whatnot. Um, you can also add a little bit. So like my eyelids are naturally dark, um, like a nice little dark circle. So if you want to lighten those up, you can do the same thing there. I'm actually going to leave it because it's just kind of leftover eyeshadow anyway from yesterday that I didn't wash off well. Um, and then I take the light color and I also use the small end of that blend brush to accentuate along any high points in my face or areas where I want some contrast. So like making that lip stand out, giving a little brightness there in the chin. Okay, and then up between the eyes, we'll do a little brightening. So again, just super lightly. Like you don't need a lot of coverage there, which is why I wouldn't want to use the Buffy brush and waste product and put color in an area where I don't need it. So I like having multiple brushes. Okay, next, um, I also use this brush for blush and bronzer. So I know we've only done half of our face here, but I was gonna show you a little hack with the colors that are on clearance. So these colors are our highlight shades for women of color, but you can also use them as a dupe for Bella Cream Bronzer. So I'll show you the difference. So normally I use, this is our Bella Cream Bronzer right here. So if you look at that comparatively, okay. So again, there's Bella right there in the middle of this one. Okay, and here's some of our other highlight shades. So if you'll notice, super similar, okay. So we can use these that are on sale 40% off as Bella Bronzer. And so I, I apply Bella Bronzer either with this blend brush, since it's on sale, or you can buy it in a bundle with this uh, blush bronzer brush. So let's see, I'll probably use Mirage, I believe. Uh, but you could use any of these colors. I do like the darker ones better, so Muse and Mirage. This is Cinnamon. It's pretty too. Muse and Mirage are my favorite. Um, and a lot of people really like Icon um, to you to be used as bronzer. So I'm gonna go in here and show you how you can do it with either the blush bronzer brush and give yourself some warmth up here. So remember, bronzer's gonna come down a little lower than my contour would. So anywhere that you would get some sun. Okay. And don't be scared of it. So let's see what it looks like right here. Like on my neck. If your neck is lighter. See, it's not that scary, it's just like a self-tanner. Difference is you can actually wash this one off if you mess up instead of having streaky hands for weeks. So you can make your neck the same color. You can use it as a, some people just use it as a contour in the summer. So they like go ahead and just contour because we didn't contour on that side. It's kind of a contour bronzer type thing. Okay, or I can have already contoured. I prefer a cooler contour, just being a blonde to match my ashy roots. Okay, so we can do it like that as a contour slash brush, blush or we could take this blend brush, okay, and use it as a bronzer, like I was mentioning, instead of a blush or with your blush. If you're not like super blush happy, like you're not a pink blush kind of person, then it's great to use the bronzer instead, okay? And then I also use it, I love this makeup, they can use it for so many things. I also use it with the multitasker brush as a lip liner before I put down a lip color. And I'm actually a brown lip person anyway. Like I, the cup, my everyday go-to color is called Chocolate Cosmos. It's a browner color anyway. So I'm a big fan. So maybe not for everybody, but even if you like a pinker lip, just having that contrast of a dark color. I've even done this with as dark as Cola Contour. Indigo contour, I love to line my lips with. So I line my lips with that, and then you can, I usually just kind of wipe off the rest, and then go into whatever lip and cheek color I want to use for the day. And I'll show you some of my favorites. My go-to in my compact right now are Sandstone and Frenchie that I use under eye, and I've got some Desert Sunset in there. You can see some of them are wetter. See how this one is much shinier? Um, so we have some glossier ones, and I like to put a matte one down first and then top it with something glossier. So there we go. Kind of doing my face out of order for you guys. Um, but I'm a big fan. Some people will even use those highlight colors or Bella bronzer as a base to like a nice warm eyeshadow look. Um, I have a little leftover shadow on, so I'm not gonna do it, but that's just another use for you. So I'm gonna finish up this face and show you quickly. The last brush that's on sale is the powder brush. And I use that to 
apply powder, shocker. Um, so our Vanilla Dust setting powder is right here. And what I love about this brush, see this nice little angle? Some people actually use this brush to apply their creams because um, it's kind of similar to shape in the Buffy brush. But if I want to set my makeup, which I don't even do every day, I love the dewy skin-like texture of my Saint Cream Foundation. But in the, if I'm wearing a mask all day when I'm teaching, I'll sometimes set it to give me some extra staying powder. And then I like to um, use the Cayman bronzer so it's our powder bronzer. I do prefer um, Bella, but I will use the Cayman on days that I'm setting as a setting powder in the areas where I've contoured. Um, so if I'm going to a water park all day and I really need extra staying power, then I'll use that. Okay, so those are the things that are on clearance. We, again, we've got the buff brush for full coverage. We've got the blend brush for super light coverage. Oh, I didn't even show you what I, the blend brush I feel like is really made um, for putting on... Um, we're putting on blush and illuminator and I didn't even do that for you guys okay so I'm just lightly I did it with the bronzer on this side but now I can it's it just makes her a super faint nice little blush look I know I don't have contour on this side I just did a little bronzer um so it looks a little different it's kind of a preference obviously you can go in you can clean up there's nothing on this brush you can keep blending you can use your perfecter sponge till you get it how you like it um but another thing that this brush is made to do is to put on powder illuminator. So I've got two different ones here. I love taking some powder illuminator and topping my lip color because it gives it a lot more staying power. Because you know, lips, they don't last all day. So put it there. I haven't done my nose contour either, so I look a little undone, but I'm trying to show you guys all the things in a short amount of time, and I also have hair in my eye. All right, so I use this brush. Let's make sure I don't have a bunch more blush on it. Um, I use this brush to apply my powder illuminator, okay? And see how that's just gonna catch the light. So people won't like really see it on you. They'll just be like, man, she looks pretty because it's just gonna catch the light and show off your bone structure, okay? There you go. You can also use these as eyeshadow. I love them on the inner corner because it gives such a nice pop. And I'm doing that with the small end of the blend brush. Like I said, I've got a little leftover eyeshadow from yesterday. You can apply them right under your brow bone. Again, it'll catch the light. It'll be a nice little accentuation to your good features. All right, so that's a great use for the blend brush. So again, buff brush, full coverage. Blend brush, super light coverage. I love it for under eye. Um, you can apply your blush, you can ap apply your bronzer with it, you can apply your powder illuminator with it, powder brush, you could do your creams with it, but it's made to do our powder um, and our bronzer, so people do both. And then your, where'd they go? Colors that are on sale right now can be used as bronzer. So I hope you learned something, I hope you grabbed something before because it's flying off the shelves. I'm gonna go be mama because I've got a hungry baby. All right, say bye. Bye. I'm hungry. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, bye.